Hey there, hi there, hello there. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Whenever you come across this video, thank you so much for choosing to spend a little bit of time with me. I'm so grateful for every single one of you. So this reading is inspired by one of our beautiful family members. I can't remember who it was, but um, they said, can you do a pick a card on messages from our higher selves? I'm, my goodness, if that's not what they asked, and I totally butchered that, sorry, just ask again, but I'm pretty certain that's what it was. <laughs> so anyways, um, also side note, um, my like this my screen is black so i'm recording but i like can't see myself or anything which is fine i don't really care um but if there's weird stuff going on i don't see it i don't know i don't you know whatever anyways doesn't matter um but uh yeah so thank you so much for being here for the like shares and subscribes everyone who's booking if you need anything from me that's in the description box below readings all services are 15% off um, until December 31st. We do have gift cards now. And um, yeah, let's tap in. Let's dive in. Let's get three cards. What does three cards for what does the higher self, what does the collective's higher self want them to know, please? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Three cards to choose from. Boom, there they are. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay, so pile number one is going to be this um, news card, the Raven. Pile two is going to be the um, the Falcon, the Observation, and pile three is going to be the Chameleon, the Change card. Okay, so just take a couple minutes. Really check with your intuition on which one is for you, what your higher self wants you to know. <clears throat> pile two or pile one. Whoa, pile. Okay, you might want to also watch pile two, pile one, but pile one, if you chose the raven, okay this is your reading it's funny i said pile two and the time stamp is two 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 so twos might be very significant okay that could be very synchronistic for you especially because when i looked down earlier it was 202 so there's something going on with twos for you possibly pile one um you might be getting messages in twos um, but I, I am feeling, um, I'm also feeling like a watcher spirit a little bit around you, pile one. Okay, but let's see, messages from <clears throat> your higher self, pile one. They said there's more here. Pile one, your higher self wants you to know that like you are a messenger here, okay? You're also <clears throat> a watcher spirit yourself. Pile one, there's something about um, like you being like um, somebody that it, it's not to say that like you cast judgment on others like in a negative way but like as far as like for the divine it's like once you decide about a person and what their intentions are and how you're going to handle it um, if it's something that's not uh if it's something that's like negative or like not good, right? Um, like maybe you decide, oh, this purpose person is manipulative, right? And chances are they are, right? And you and they've probably done this to many people. You are the person that kind of triggers somebody's karma here. Pile one. 
your higher self wants you to know that. So that may be significant, especially right now during Mercury retrograde, okay? There may be a lot of people that are coming back from the past and you need to keep that in mind, okay? That's that's a lot to like kind of, that, that seems like a lot of pressure, you know what I'm saying? Like who gave... <laughs> Who gave me that job? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> pile one. So, but, but listen, it's not about, um, <clears throat> here's my thing, pile one. Your higher self is wanting you to know that the reason that you have this job, it, it's not that it's always been something. It's actually, I feel like a possibly a recent promotion that you've stepped into through the divine here. Okay. And it's not that, um, you know, uh, it, it, it you are at a level of like self-love in which um, you honor yourself, you make decisions, you're tapped into, um, you know, the reality of, of um, you know, you are very emotionally mature, you understand yourself deeply, so you're able to understand others deeply, which is why you're able to kind of like have this badge or, or wear the sash, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, and so... And, and because of that, right, because you make decisions based on self-love, that is why, you know what I'm saying? And, and um, yeah, so that's something that your higher self wants you to know. That that's why it's very important that you do continue to make decisions that honor your self-love. Even really hard decisions, okay? Any clarity that you need, I feel like you really already have pile one. Some of you are looking for more clarity when you've been given all of it around a situation. This is some sort of confirmation. I feel like, honestly, pile one, you may be looking for different clarity that contradicts the previous clarity that you gained because you don't necessarily want to believe it or you don't want... Um, want it to be true, right? It could, I'm, I'm feeling a lot of like family vibes possibly, okay? Um, it's almost like your higher self is like, well, I could tell you the story again, but um, do I need to, right? Like the it, it, collective, you may be getting higher level information and it may be like kind of jaw dropping and so that's where you're kind of maybe this mistrust within your intuition is kind of also like elevating. It's like rising again. Okay. So this is like another layer to the onion collective or pile one, I mean, where, um, <clears throat> you know, you're developing that deeper trust within yourself and your gifts as well as within the divine God source, you know, the universe. Okay. So like, um, This is, this is, this is all happening for you. It's like, it's, it's crazy. It's like an orchestra. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is very orchestrated. So, um, yeah, so you're getting like higher level information, pile one, and the divine is asking you to any, like anywhere where you feel mistrust or you feel any doubt to look at that see why you feel that way okay for a lot of you i feel like it, it mostly just boils down to um not wanting to believe it and that's all good and well the divine is saying but or or your higher self is saying but miss you know m not trusting in your intuition has gotten you in situations before so what are you going to do now with this information okay First, I keep being drawn to this ritual card. So for some of you, it could be um, <clears throat> information or clarity around a ritual that was done or a ritual that you have done or something here, possibly around your finances, okay, or around your prosperity. It doesn't have to be. Um, for some others of you, it's, it could also be like a relationship, okay? Um Pile one, some of you are under like some, no. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Pile one's 
by yourself. What else do you want them to know? What else do you want them to know, please? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. It's like <clears throat> you have opened up pile one, some sort of like uh, I feel like some sort of like portal here. That's, <clears throat> that I feel like is bringing through a lot of um, clarity around illusions, okay? one <clears throat> your higher self also wants you to know that somebody is not being honest about um, possibly their intentions or <clears throat> who they are here it's it <clears throat> pile one there is it's like you can see straight through it, you have like x-ray vision here pile one your higher self wants you to know that that you really do okay and like i said it's like it's it's almost this energy of where it's like kind of like scary in a way okay um, because I don't know, it, 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 uh, It really clarifies a lot of the energy around you. I feel like, you know, you've been... I, pile one, you're very tapped in here, okay? You're very emotionally balanced. You're extremely strong. And um, I, you, your higher self wants you to know that you need to trust what it's telling you about and showing you about the people around you. Even if you don't want to believe it, you need to trust it, okay? Because there are energies, um, you know, whether they're intentionally doing it or <clears throat> it is their own personal, you know, demons here or possibly even thought processes within yourself. Um, that are... almost trying to it's like this uh i'm hearing that song and i don't know the words that they sing um in hocus pocus 
to get the kids or to get, uh, you know, everyone in town to, to do what they want them to do or like to get, I feel like it's the one that I'm hearing is, is for the kids. It's to call in all the children. Okay. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. So that's what this energy is. Um, so yes, Shoo. your higher self is wanting you to know that you are very connected to it. You do right now is not a time to doubt yourself at all. Okay. Okay. Pile one. <laughs> That's what your higher self wants you to know. Must be really important. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. If you need anything from me, that's in the description box below. Love you. We'll see you next time. <clears throat> Should have brought my water. <laughs> All right. Pile two. Thank you so much for choosing to spend a little bit of time with me. If you chose that um, falcon card here, this is your reading. Is it peregrine? Peregrine falcon? Possibly. I don't know. Don't judge me. It's fine. <sighs> Pile two. What does your higher self want you to know? Let's tap in. There is a lot of Egyptian energy, okay? Some of you are really connecting to some of your Egyptian ancestors. Okay, there's something very significant about the pyramids or triangles or like uh, quantum, um, like geography or quantum, um, quantum, I want to say shapes, but I don't feel like that's the right thing. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank here. Um, but I feel like that's significant also. Pile two, I heard you're being like touched by an angel. Okay. Which, and I, I, I uh, you know, I, I feel like your angels are, are always with you, but there is like something... I heard you're being given something. A voice, possibly. Pile two. Your higher self wants you to know that other people are observing this, okay? Uh, you're, um, you're not going unheard. Your voice is heard. <clears throat> but I'm really drawn to on this card here. And this is where I'm really drawn to this like bright light where you where like this person connects you know they they reach out and they touch this falcon here okay and this connection brings forth this bright light and i feel like there's something about that that is like um you're able to do this by connecting um with the angels or your ancestors here um and and it's being observed you're possibly being observed here your higher self wants you to know that um that there are uh, i heard people in high places okay that are observing your light at this time in some way here Pile two, there's something very, very unique or very big about your energy. Um, you have a unique style or you have a unique, um, like your authenticity is very unique here. Okay. And it's being observed. 
Yeah, some of you, it might have to do with fashion. What is pile two? You're being observed because you're the magician here. <clears throat> Your heart is, it shines so brightly, okay? Your heart shines so brightly, like look at that, okay? And it's like, um, there's so much to you. You're, you are being very closely observed at this time, okay? Not only by by some people in some high places pile too, but also I've you know because you've manifested this here. Um, I also feel like you've possibly manifested somebody that you've moved on from as well. Um, but that's irrelevant. That's just random. That might be um, for like one or two people out there, but. Um, yeah, you have manifested some sort of, but yeah, you're, you're being watched very closely here. Very closely. But there is kind of this energy pile too, where the divine, you may be feeling like possibly some sort of disappointment or, um, you may actually be feeling the heaviness of um, a lot of this observation here, possibly, okay? And this is kind of putting you in a little bit of like Four of Cups, Nine of Swords energy, <clears throat> you know, um, which, uh, you know, is sometimes a little bit uncomfortable here. But I, I'm, I'm getting this energy where with this Four of Cups here, okay, you know, she's, she's, there's three cups in front of her, but she's actually sitting in a very large cup. And that makes me feel like, um, pile two, you're actually sitting in a very large opportunity right now. And there's, there's something about that, that you've manifested here. Okay. But there's something, um, that your higher self wants to bring to your attention. Um, it's like, but there's this, there's kind of this discontentment or this like um, stress or anxiety a little bit about possibly, the, and it's not even, I feel like it's not even something that's like over, like too encompassing, like to where it's like taking over your life, but it's almost this like program that's just kind of still playing out. It's like a little bit that's on the real that hasn't been shifted here, okay? Um, and I feel like it has to, so uh, yeah. And I feel like you you may be possibly, because of this, be, you may be aware of this, you may be like going back and forth from this like, um, from like ending a cycle to uh, like, to stepping back into it a little bit here not intentional it's not intentional at all it it's it's actually uh something that comes from this energy of um discontentment here But, uh, and that's not for everyone here, okay? But there are, pile two, you need to know that there are some people from your past that have watched you, Justice card, the Empress, evolve from this, um, you know, four of, four of Cups, Nine of Swords, Two of Pentacles, 
you know, you you really shifted from a lot of betrayal, a lot of um, upset energy here into this Empress energy. And there are a lot of there are a lot of people that have watched you manifest this. Okay, you are yeah. They've watched you manifest this um, stability underneath you, this foundation. Okay. Um, so, pile two. I feel like your higher self wants you to know if you've been feeling like people are watching you very closely. You are correct. Okay. There is just so much depth to you, Pile 2. I really just am feeling like it's like there are people that are just kind of in awe of your ability to create and to build, to keep going, okay? To, um, you know, kind of make, uh, you know, something out of nothing. To, to literally take this Five of Pentacles energy of feeling left out and abandoned and um, betrayed and lost and uncertain and nostalgic and sad and, you know, and, and turn your life around into this Ten of Cups energy, literally. And people are observing that. And I feel like, um, I feel like that your higher self is like saying like, Hey, like maybe you should observe just exactly how far you've come here. Okay. Um, because yeah, and your higher self also wants you to know that you don't see something new coming. And this hermit energy of being alone by yourself is over. Sun card at the bottom of the deck. This is coming to an end. It's a wrap, okay, of this hermit energy of just like doing and being by yourself. There's some sort of new beginning, some sort of inspiration action coming towards you here okay yeah yes so you may be feeling stuck it's because there's a lot of energy on you but also there's a couple things within you that are just rising up here to be released okay okay all right i hope that was helpful if you need anything from me pile two uh that is in the description box below thank you so much Pile three, if you chose this chameleon, this is your reading, okay? <sighs> yeah, I heard shift in gears, shift in gears, and then I remember that this is the change card. Um, pile three, I feel like there is a situation, pile three, if, you know, with the chameleon here, it honestly feels like you oftentimes will adapt to your surroundings, okay? And the divine is actually coming through your higher self, sorry, these are messages from your higher self, which is the divine, right? It's, it's whatever, it's fine. Um, <laughs> um that wants you to know, no, don't adapt to this, okay? There's something about a, a situation, you're changing, you're shifting, okay? And there's something about you not adapting, like don't, don't blend in, okay? Don't, um, there, there's also a situation where possibly, um, It's almost like your higher self is saying you don't have to adapt to this because you know how to change it. There's a situation that is saying you don't have to adapt to this because you know how to change it, pile three. That is what your higher self is really coming through on. So it's saying don't, you know, um, which is, you know, and this is card number 33. So 33 might be significant, but, but 33 being a master number here, it's like <clears throat> quit blending in when you know you're meant to stand out. Pile three.
clear. What else does Kyle threes for yourself? Want them to know, please. Holy Spirit, what else does Kyle threes for yourself? Want them to know. Sorry about the shuffling, y'all. I know it's loud. But it is what it is. Okay. What else is Kyle Freeze? Higher self. Love them to know, please. Holy Spirit, what it is. Yeah, you saw through some sort of illusion. That's what I'm saying is you know how to change it. You saw through the illusion of being stuck. You know that you are not stuck. You know that you have the ability to open all portals and all doors and all things within you if you just tap in within you. Okay? Um... And so your higher self is saying like, <clears throat> don't adapt to this situation, change it, evolve it, grow it. And quit thinking about it, I feel like. There's, there's something about like thinking about it and I, I'm really feeling like if there's any blocks, pile three, okay, your higher self is saying like, <clears throat> that's also an illusion. You know how to change that as well. Pile three, you're coming off, especially 33, card 33, being pile three, 333, three, three, mind, body, and soul. You're a master. You've mastered yourself. Queen of Pentacles here. Don't adapt to this situation. Change it. It's not too late. You know how to do it. Anything can change very quickly. You know exactly how to do it. You know where that portal is within you. It's almost like your higher self pile three is saying, hey, snap out of it. This too is not out of your control. Quit thinking about it. Get out of your head. Quit, you know, dancing around it and, and get to work here. Because you have all the inspiration. Your cup is overflowing here. And this is going to bring in some sort of balance. That is, that is going to, it's almost like your environment is then going to adapt to you. Yeah, it's going to bring in some balance, um, possibly about some burdens that you've been feeling, right? Don't adapt to these burdens. Change them. You know how to do it. You do. You know how to do it. Also, there's kind of this energy pile three of like, if you need to ask for help, that might be something that is, that is coming up for you at this time because it's a, you know, it's, it's a lesson right now, okay? It is okay to ask for help sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, pile three, I feel like you give often, but you never ask for anything. And there's something about that, okay? All right, that's not for everyone. That's just for somebody who's just like, you know what I'm saying? Whether it be emotional support, financial support, something. But, but for a lot of you pile three, there's no asking anybody because you know how to change it. You are this spark of light, this spark of life, right? that is the master of your creation. So don't adapt, change it. All right, final messages. What is Tile 3's higher self want them to know, please?
Yeah. Yeah, collective, I feel like if you take quick action here to tune within yourself, okay, to check in with whatever's going on, why ever, why ever your environment is looking like, like it is, whatever is bothering you, right, whatever's on your mind here, okay, I feel like you can change it very quickly. I feel like there's something about, um, you know, uh, You know, because you know how to change it. It's not, it's not through, it's not through like doing spell work or anything like that. It's, it's through like going within and finding that root of what is manifesting in your physical reality. And I am just really getting this energy here where, um, you are going to get some sort of good news, like, um, like right in time. Okay. Literally right in time. Something about stability, possibly a, a divine partnership, possibly um, there's something here. So, okay. All right, my darling. That's what I have for you. Thank you so much for choosing to spend a little bit of time with me. Um, any, if you need anything from me, that's in the description box below. Otherwise, we'll talk soon.